You can draw this entire illustration in just three steps using Autodesk Sketchbook app and we are going to start off with a screen resolution of 2080 into 2860. Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are painting this beautiful, I think this is kind of very artistic illustration because we have a moon, we have cactus. Have you ever heard of a moon cactus? And if so, let me know in the comment below because I was recently introduced. It's just a cactus with one flower blooming in it, but definitely not the exact illustration we are going to do here but we are doing much different just a big moon and then a cactus with a flower blooming in so we are already into drawing moon here and of course we use font and pen and then draw uh, with the help of draw style we draw a circle fill up the layer and then add a shadow and now we are using wash brush to smudge those color in to look like a depth in the moon and also the scar of the moon once done we are just going to use cashmere eraser to remove the rough edge of the moon so that it's look much more realistic and also make sure these are all in 4x speed follow your sweet time because nothing is in hurry when you are painting because you just forget how much time you have passed and then we are going to add a new layer beneath the moon layer with the help of flow airbrush i'm just going to dab it across to make it look like the shine of the moon and with the help of speckle brush i kind of added star around the moon and then with the help of glow neon pen i'm adding those tiny sparkly dots as a star once then this is where the entire illustration comes to life we're drawing a cactus we're just going to start off with a very normal brush font and pen and then we are just going to fill up the layer then we are going to add a few shadows few highlight and then we are going to use blending brush to slowly blend it across and then to add few more shadows to it i'm just going to make sure uh, to use floor airbrush now here it is art medium pencil i think and then we are going to add all this that shadow and the depth and then i'm just going to smudge it across and we are going to do for one more cactus and then for the rest we are just going to copy and paste across it's just two minutes and we have already come to the end of the session that's how it feels like but anyway it really takes a very long time because we are going to define each cactus and the buds of it growing and also let me know in the comment below or your plant mom or dad or if you are someone who loves to have take care as plant as a hobby or you are someone who loves to grow veggies in your garden or flower or you are not a plant person at all because for me i just had one plant in my entire life that is like a jade plant you just guys water for a week and then forget but still live in your place i have one i had only one but it is no more anyway we are just going to add few more uh buds of cactus i don't know it is buds or it is a finger what is this of cactus i should learn more about plant and then i'm just going to fill those buds in a darker shade and then i'm going to use the help of blending brush to slowly blend it across and then making sure it looks as good as we can of course we could have done it's much easier form by using the art medium pencil and then fill the layers stroke it around it may look more realistic or more like an artistic structure maybe some um, picture down the lane i want to do a watercolor in autodesk sketchbook app let me know in the comment below should i try this because there's so much brushes here and i have not really used a lot of them i may use here and now but not for an entire illustration or any new brushes from a new illustration because i want to make my art as accessible as i can anybody who is starting off in digital illustration should not fear thinking oh my gosh it's, it's, it's so much complicated rather people should be like yeah this is so much easy i can give a try and once you give a try you'll definitely end up painting the whole illustration and then make sure you tag me in your instagram account once you finish the illustration because i love to see and appreciate you through my community so make sure you take your time off every single day and do what you really love and here i'm using flow airbrush to add the shadow and now we are into the copy paste layer which is my favorite because now we are almost at the end of our illustration so now that we are just copy and pasting here once we are done we are going to add those tiny flower around uh, the cactus but i think in reality cactus does not have a lot of blooming they they do have few cactus which does bloom flower but here i just feel like maybe adding those a uh, few more flower extra flower will bring this entire illustration to life and coming to my uh, community i do have a newsletter weekly newsletter which is free from my inbox to yours where i share what happened this in this week what i have learned my 
podcast, any new book, any new quotes, or any illustration behind the scene. Why this week I have actually illustrated this? What is the meaning behind this illustration? It's kind of fun way of pinning down my entire feeling and then sending it out to you. I can't be a pen pal for each and every one and post my letters to you every week, but this kind of makes me warm and to be connected to all of you. If you are my existing subscriber, thank you very much. If you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button. I would love to have you here because it's a thriving community we are slowly growing up here and of course we are going to be hitting our 1500 uh, subs very 11500 sub very soon so i lo love to have you all in this community and now you can see i'm adding those tiny flowers in uh, around the cactus and once then i'm going to pick a darker shade to add this highlight in the flower now i'm just going to make it look cuter here and also i'm um, just adding it across anywhere i want you can just draw one flower to in one cactus that's how moon cactus actually look like you can just go ahead it has an entire structure of moon cactus a big flower on the top and then the stem of the cactus but here i'm just going to add those tiny flower around because it feels like it gave much life to my entire illustration if you have made it to the end of the illustration thank you very much for hanging around with us hope you learned this illustration tag me along if you ever illustrate and let me know in the comment which type of illustration you'd love to watch next i would be happy to accommodate and thank you for each and every one of us supporting our channel make sure to be a part of our newsletter community and also if you have not heard the latest podcast of this week you should definitely go ahead and give it a try and make sure to leave both the newsletter and podcast link below and also on the cue card see you all in the next video children take care bye bye